Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And, well, as you can see, I'm in my nice and toasty dressing gown with the heating on full blast because it's bloody cold out there. Despite that, though, I'm still going to have a nice, cool and refreshing cider because I fancy it. Especially um, to take away the taste of that god-awful St. Helia blueberry I had last review. God, anything's going to be better than that. Well, apart from white ciders, anyway. So, I've uh, picked one that's been sitting in my fridge for a little while because, hey, you know, it's got to be used up at some point. So, today's cider of choice is Black Rat Premium Cider. Now, despite it being called Black Rat, it's actually um, a product of the Moles Brewery. So, um, that's kind of ironic, seeing as it's, you know, Mole Rat. You'd have thought it would been called Black Mole, but I suppose it doesn't have the same ring to it anyway. Um, so, I don't really um, know much else about the Moles Brewery, but I'll get into what I know soon. But until then, let's get some details on this particular Black Rat Cider. Black Rat Cider comes in 500ml bottles, but if you prefer it, it also comes in 2 litre flagons, 330ml glass bottles, and 440ml cans, if that's your preferred taste. The alcohol percentage is 5.5% in volume, so um, fairly standard strength there. It doesn't actually say anywhere if it's going to be a sweet or a dry cider, so I'll find out in the taste. And the price um, is around about £2.09, at least that is on the um, Beers of Europe website. On the actual Black Rat website you can only get them in um, multiple cases but it worked out at around about £2.53 for a 500ml bottle so um, well quite a price difference there but will it match the taste? Well from what I can tell the, uh, the Moles Brewery is actually more akin to their ales they've got a much better ale selection I say this is the only cider that they do but they do it in a wide variety of different bottles and cans as I've said so um you know, as I say, they um, seem to be more concentrating on beers and ales rather than this. This seems to be their trademark um, cider that we have here. Um, bottle design is pretty standard, you know, pretty basic, you know, good old clear bottle and everything. I do like it when they have like a transparent label on the back so you can actually see the cider that you're just about to drink. On the front it just says Black Rat premium cider so um well alarm bells are kind of ringing already because when you see premium slapped on the front of a cider it's not normally a good thing um on the back it really doesn't have much else it just says have you seen the black rat oh maybe i have because you're never more than two foot away from a rat apparently in this country a premium somerset apple cider full of flavor with a crisp apple bite Pretty generic there, isn't it? It doesn't really um, actually tell me much about the cider, so I guess there really is not much else to do apart from getting this old bottle open. I said, let's get this bottle open. There we go. Cool. Kind of a tough top there, but there we go. A little bit of carbonation there, so that's all good to see. Let's go. I can actually hear it fizzing. Let's get a whiff in the bottle. Ah, it does actually have quite a nice dry note. There is a, a little bit of um, sweetness to it as well, so I'm going to hazard a guess and say that this is a medium dry um, tasting cider. Either that or they've added sugars or sweeteners into this, which I really hope they haven't done. But yeah, you're getting a nice, uh, nice hint of tannins as well, off the nose. Very, um, a nice fruity apple scent too. That actually doesn't smell you know, doesn't smell too bad at all. So, using my old uh, Chelmsford Beer Festival glass this time, so let's go and um, pour this one out. So, will uh, the Moles Brewery titular Black Rat Cider be any good at all? It's not a titular cider, is it? It would be um, Moles Cider, if that was the case. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. Well, you probably heard that fizz, but let's have a look at the um, colour first of all. Um... Pretty standard cider colour, really. Nice, uh, lightly golden. Um, filtered, as you can see, there's no uh, cloudiness at all. Nice, light carbonation, and overall, doesn't actually look too bad at all. So let's go and get a whiff in the glass now. Yeah, still really nice dry notes. Kind of dissipated a little bit again, but, um, you know, as we know, it is all about the taste. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, 
yeah, a nice, a nice smelling cider. Nothing offensive at all. So I'm just going to go and uh, dive right in. So, cheers, guys, and here's to Black Rat Cider. nice mm, that is that is really pleasant um yeah it is definitely a um, a medium dry cider you've got a nice um dry hit as soon as it hits your lips but then um after that's dissipated and uh, faded out you're left with a nice sweet almost a, a tangy sensation around your mouth there there was a real um slight oakiness um, in the taste as well as I was um, as I was as it was going down my throat. I don't think it's been matured in oak fats at all, but there is a nice woody oaky characteristic all throughout the taste. Let's get a second opinion. Mmm. There's a real uh, slight hint of bitterness as it uh, goes down. Yeah, there's um, a, not much acidity to this one, but as I say, there is a, a nice, uh, almost a bittersweet sort of taste, especially uh, just around this little area of my mouth. It's, um, yeah, almost as though you've, um, I don't know, had uh, not a sherbet, but, you know, one of those bittersweets that you can get, um, you know, and you've been sucking on it for quite a while, and it makes sure you've know, got a nice old bitter taste around the mouth. That's what you're getting from this. Um... I am detecting a slight hint of gumminess at the back of the throat, but I don't know whether that's because um, I've just had dinner or not. I don't think dinner would give me gumminess at the back of the throat. But there is a slight hint of this, so um, I might just have to guess and say that this isn't a real cider that we have here. It is, um, you know, industrially made, especially seeing as it does say premium on the front of it. Most of the time when you see premium, it usually means industrially made because they're trying to promote their product better. But um, does this does that make it a bad cider? No, not this time actually. It's actually got some really nice tastes to it, and uh, yeah, it's overall very pleasantly tasting. Let's just get uh, another one. Hmm. It's uh, very light, very light in texture, but not overly so so that it just tastes absolutely watery it has got a nice um a little bit of body to it so you don't feel you know that you're being cheaped out of having a you know an, an alcoholic drink at all um but overall yeah we've got a nice little cider here um i so say you can get this one off beers of europe and it's actually a lot cheaper than getting it from the uh, moles brewery actual website which is kind of surprising because it's usually the other way around but um yeah, I'd recommend giving this one a go. I've actually seen it in a couple of supermarkets as well, so keep your eyes out. Let's go and get a final taste before the final verdict now, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, if you like your ciders more on the dry side of medium dry, then this is um, going to be a really nice cider to have. Um, especially seeing as it does seem to be quite readily available in loads of different um, bottle varieties as well, which is really good, especially seeing as it is um, a nice tasting cider. So, yeah, I'd um, recommend keeping your eye out for this one. This is actually a very pleasantly tasting cider. And so, because of that, I'm going to go and give Moles Black Rat Cider a 7 out of 10. Um, as I say, despite it being an industrially made cider, it's got some really nice taste to it, really nice um, aromas on the nose as well, nothing offensive at all, and it's just really easily drinking, and I can, you know, you can see this one actually being kind of a session cider, actually, because it's not too strong either at 5.5%, so, yeah, keep your eyes out for this one, guys, this one is not too bad at all. So, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and, as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Thank God this one was a lot better than St. Helia Blueberry, that's for sure. Take care, guys. Until next time.